Hey guys, this is Rafflecopter, and today I'm comparing the differences between using NVIDIA Inspector and not using NVIDIA Inspector with Battlefield 3. So, I have the program open up here. I'm using a single GTX 260M, and I have it clocked at uh, 600 megahertz instead of the default 550. So, you essentially, to make this program work, the only thing you need to pay attention to is this little button that I'm going to click on that has the wrench on it. And this will allow you to tweak uh, GPU settings for specific executable files. And it's set for, it has a ton of presets for a lot of different games. Uh, if you have a game that you want to do a preset for, it might, it should probably be on here. If it's not, you can make your own custom preset and look online for what you should have it set for. So, choosing the BF3 one optimizes the, it lets the drivers know that this executable should be doing these things so it can have better performance and quality while playing that game. So, the next step after you find your game is, um, you need to locate the actual executable for the game. So, in a second here, I'm going to show you where mine is. It's in Origin Games. And uh, this program is great. It's good for overclocking. It lets you know uh, your temps and things like that. It's a lot like GPU-Z, which is uh, the same thing as CPU-Z, obviously. And those let you uh, monitor your things, but they don't let you quite tweak it as much as this. For NVIDIA cards, at least, you can't do this with ATI. So I'm locating my uh, Battlefield 3 executable file right now. And now you can check to make sure it uh, loaded by going to the top and clicking on remove. And then it will be there. Let's see, yep. So that's how you know it's there. So I'm going to close out of this and jump to the BF3 footage. Okay, now the one on the right is with is is using the optimization for NVIDIA Inspector, and then the one on the left is not using NVIDIA Inspector. So you can see the graph below the one the gameplay footage of not using Inspector, and you can see a lot of FPS fluctuations. This is probably because of the shooting and the explosions and things like that. The average FPS I got was around 23, 24. Now the max I got was 33, and the minimum was 14. The minimum was pretty low. Uh, there's a lot of not really good FPS. This was recorded at a 1440 by 900 resolution at uh, lowest quality settings other than uh, the filtering was at two times. Alright, so here are the stats with Inspector. Now you can see the graph is a little higher overall than the uh, other one without Inspector. So the average FPS I had with Inspector was 24.40833. The max was 37 and the minimum was 16. So the min was one higher, the max was uh, four higher and the average FPS differences between the two was 0.64. Now this is this could just be because of the map the map uh, differences between the two levels, but they are the same level. It's just different spaces, and you can you can tell that the uh, with Inspector it's not as uh, a GPU intensive as the one without it, and this is probably why there's a small difference <laughs> at all really. But I think overall this would help with some games, but for me it really won't make that much of a difference because uh, because this game is just so heavy on my card. So if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please feel free to comment and rate this video. Uh, thank you for watching.